first grade and happy new year. It is 2021. So I hope you had a great holiday break um, and that you have already started off the new year and in an exciting way. So some things have still stayed the same though from 2020 from last year and that is me and my books that I love so much and I love sharing with you and today I have one called Ruby finds a worry and talking about worries are so important because worrying happens to everyone I worry about things your family worries about things friends worry about things everyone worries even sometimes people don't like talk about what they worry about all the time so let's dive into Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore far, wild, far away places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby had hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day, it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as, as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with the worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink.
Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. And that, my friends, is the end of my book. So, the thing that we can take away from this book, that we can learn from this book, is that one way to get rid of your worries is to talk to someone. It can be a friend, like in our story, or it could just be someone who you have a good relationship with. Maybe that's someone in your family, or your neighbor, or your teacher, Miss Clark or Miss Williams. I love talking to kids, and you can always talk to me about your worries. I am here for you. Um, or maybe it's even like a pet, you know, maybe it's your dog or your cat. Sometimes just getting them out and voicing them sometimes helps you feel a little bit, but I would encourage you to find a person who you can trust, who you feel comfortable with and tell them about your worry. So like our story, they can shrink and shrink and shrink. And that person can help you out and help you be happier. So hope you're having a great day and that your day is off, um, to a fabulous start. So I will see you soon. Bye.